Hmm. Hmm. Ah. There's nothing quite like using the toilet, right? For most of us today, toilet consists of a gleaming white seat, toilet paper, soap, water, and of course, privacy. But the thing is, the toilet wasn't always that way. Back in the day, people didn't have access to all the technology we had today. So the act of pooping went a bit differently. Today, I'm going to be talking about how a few Asian civilizations went when they needed to go. And the quirky ways their method of pooping is different from our own. You know, most of us. The first civilization we're going to talk about is ancient Egypt. And as far as their toilets go, it was missing one essential component. Water! The ancient Egyptians didn't have access to running water, so they didn't have toilets that flushed. This doesn't mean that they just pooped wherever there was space though. Oh no. Because they had quite a complicated toilet system. For an ancient Egyptian, toilet consisted of a small container with sand buried in the ground and a toilet seat above it. More well to do people had a seat made of limestone or other luxurious material. Poor people, however, had to survive with a small wooden stool with a hole in the middle of it. About sanitation, this toilet system was a bit sanitary as the poop containers were regularly empty. So that's a plus, but there's also a good chance that their content made it into the river or onto the street. Moving on to ancient Rome. Unlike the Egyptians and their simple container toilets, Roman toilets were more complex, mostly. For one thing, they had water, so they were able to invent toilets that flushed. A common Roman toilet was called the Forique. It was a toilet building that could seat up to 50 people. The toilet consisted of benches with holes in them that poured their contents into gutters of flowing water. They look more like this in real life. From the concept of it, this form of toilet seems a whole lot more sanitary than the Egyptian toilet. But eh, uh, no. This toilet had a few problems with it. First, the toilet rooms were fully enclosed and let in relatively little light. Also, they may not have been washed very often. So though they flushed, they probably stank a high hell. Second, the poop holes were in such close proximity to each other that all 50 people using the toilet room could see, hear and smell each other simultaneously. Another interesting thing about this toilet was the way they wiped. They didn't have toilet paper. Rather, the shares of a toilet shared something called a tessorium. It was a sponge tied to the end of a stick. One person used it, rinsed it, and then passed it on to the next person. At least they rinsed it right. Apart from these conditions posing a high health risk to the shares of a toilet, it's also good for you to know that the contents of the Forique flowed untreated into a nearby river. And given that this was the same river people drew water from, yeah. What? The discussion of ancient toilets will not be complete. However, without talking about toilets in medieval Europe, most people at the time couldn't afford a toilet. But for those rich castle owners who could, the toilet was known as a Kadarob. It was a room that rested on the external wall of a castle, and this room had a floor that had a big hole in it. A toilet was built over this hole, and the hole opened to the castle moat. So poop went through the hole and then into the water. Toilets that were near moats usually had a hole in the ground that the poop fell into. When the hole was full, someone was paid to shovel the poop away. Now, you may think that this method of disposing waste was very unsanitary and led to the spread of diseases, but no, that's not the way it was at all. That was a joke. Conditions were horrible. For most people living in Europe at the time, having a personal castle wall toilet where poop fell into your most charming moat was a luxury too good to think about. Average people just used chamber pots at home and then emptied them directly into the street, through a window. This led to high stench in the cities, the spread of diseases, and crap covered people who didn't watch out for flying poop. So in a nutshell, I hope you now appreciate the value of the modern toilet. Unlike Asian toilets, it's much more sanitary, private, and publicly available. You know, mostly. Until next time, I am Kings. Thank you for watching.